Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. It is Sarah Michaels here. In this video, um, I'm going to show you how to create a coupon or a coupon or a coupon, depending on where you're at in the world. So however it is that you pronounce it, I'm going to show you how to create one of those for the bookings on your Wix website. And yes, this is a style it yourself tutorial. So the first thing that you're going to want to have opened here is your Wix website editor. So you'll notice you're, you'll be on the editor page if the options are on the top and these things are here on the left hand side. Now, keep in mind that you do have to add the bookings app to your website, which is pretty simple to do here on the left hand side. Um, if you haven't yet added it, there will be like an option for bookings. You can see right here and that it'll say like, hey, do you want to, you know, do you want to add this to your site? And then you say yes. Now, keep in mind that in order to accept payment plans, you do have to have an upgraded um, plan. So make sure that you have that so that you can actually accept payments for the bookings. And then once you have added a bookings page all the way on the, the bottom left of the um, elements over here, the elements tabs, you'll see there's a little calendar and it says bookings. When you click on that page right there, and as you can see, I'm on the bookings and services page. So currently you're, you're actually seeing a sneak peek behind my website and you're looking over my shoulder right now as I go in and create a coupon for um, our students. I'm doing a promo right now. Okay, so what I wanna do is when I open this up, if I click on manage services, um, it's going to bring me to the bookings tab on the dashboard. So you can also get to the bookings tab directly from your Wix website dashboard. Um, however you get there, what you're going to do next is you'll notice that all of the services will be right here. If you wanted to add a new service, you would do that. But in order to create a coupon, we're going to go and click on the more actions tab. And then as you can see right here, it's going to say create a coupon. So when you click on that, it is going to take you to the page where you can actually create another coupon. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one and I'm going to give a, a discount for the entire amount off. Now on the coupons tab here, you can see that it will give you a fixed price discount. You can do a 50% off discount if that's what you're doing. You can do free shipping, you can do a sale price, or you can actually do like a buy X, get Y free. Um, you get to name your coupon. Now keep in mind, the coupon codes are case sensitive. So for example, if you have a, a capital S, summertime fun or summer fun one, two, three, you have to make sure that your people know that. So for example, if I did uh, a coupon of Sherry, which I'm gonna do, uh, the discount is $497 because she's actually getting a full price coupon. So she's going to get a specific um, service. Okay, so you'll notice that when you go to the coupon, you can give put the dollar amount in there and you can say this coupon applies to all products, a specific product, a specific collection, all services, a specific service, or a minimum order or subtitle or subtotal, pardon me. So what I'm gonna do now is because um, this is for a specific service, that's what I'm going to select. So again, you're gonna wanna select which whichever option fits your coupon. I'm gonna go down and choose the service, and I'm gonna say that the coupon is valid between, uh, if um, don't set an end date, that means it's valid from this date until wherever. Um, if you want to set an end date, then you could. And I'm gonna go ahead and say one use, Okay, because this is only a one-time coupon for the specific person and I want to prevent any of you <laughs> sneaky little buggers who are watching this video from trying to use that coupon. Um, but, but if you wanted to do an unlimited number of coupon, you could do that. If there's only, you know, hey, I've only got 100 coupons, the first 100 people, then you would put like 100 in there. So however many, uh, you'll create the coupon and then it is good to go. 
Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go over and send that to her, but that's pretty cool. It was really simple to do. So um, by the way, on the dashboard here, if you wanna take a shortcut to get to the coupons for your services, underneath of the marketing tools, you can see here, marketing. Okay, so if you go back to the main menu and you go down to marketing tools, and then you click on coupons, that is another way to get to the coupons tab for your services and stuff. So there's a little bit of that. So now you know how to create a coupon for the services or the store on your website. I hope this was helpful. Um, and just a heads up, in case you did not see, if you are um, having questions or wanting some expert guidance on how to create your Wix website and really how to make the most of it. Um, I am offering the Style It Yourself course. <laughs> it is now open and we're going through it. And so yeah, that's pretty cool. So if you did not already see that, you can hop on over here. You can also activate a free trial of the course just to get going. And so here it is. So that is styleityourselfcourse.com, the DIY Wix website design course um, that I created. Or if you would like to have myself or one of my team members create a site for you, you can find that down here as well. And I'll also go ahead and put the link down beneath this video to get a $7 trial for 30 days into What the Tech, which is the other course and membership that I offer. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe here, right here to my channel where you can find more trainings, tutorials, as well as some business and lifestyle design topics. Um, I'm happy that you're here and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.